What is up, you guys? It's Stocky here, bringing you another The Crew 2 car review video. We are at the street racing headquarters right now, and we are going to see what these promos are all about. We might get ourselves a discount on a car, so we're going to go ahead and check out what, what cars are on sale on the promo and see what we can't get. So this bike is on promo. Okay, so it's a discount. What else we got? doesn't look like any cars so literally just that motorcycles on promo that's a little hard to believe yo guys I think we're gonna do the f40 I th I think legitimately we're gonna do the f40 uh, I've seen racing yellow would be a good color black would be a good color what else we got though I don't know the Ferrari red is always a classic but I think we're gonna go black the rims, well, we have several rims. Yo, we're going blacked out here. $465,000. This is going to be a Ferrari F40 review for the Crew 2. Let's go ahead and purchase this thing, and then let's see what we can do to customize it. I'm sure that there's not going to be very much to customize, but we're going to check it out anyways. This car looks absolutely mean. It sounds good, too. All the NOS comes out the bottom. We have three exhausts at the bottom there. It sounds good right off the bat. It gets a little loose. It's a little loose in the rear end. That might affect our testing. But of course, we're not going to change any of the any of the uh, tuning aspects or keeping these test reviews all the same. So we're going to put 280 parts on it, customize it, race it around the strip south, and give it a full review. Well, let's jump right into customization. So we are heading to our house. We are going to enter our house and customize this car, see what we can't do with the F40. Now in the past, Ferraris have been very limited on their customization. It's just a manufacturer thing. Here we're looking at our GT3 RS that I did a review on the last video. You guys should check out that video. This is arguably the best car in the game. It keeps up with the KTM Expo and uh, I would highly recommend it. But we're gonna change this out for the F40. Let's see where it'll be. I don't know where we'll find it. There we go. All right. The F40. Oh, it looks so mean and all black. All right, let's customize it. Let's see what we can do here. Visual parts first. Wow, we have 20 front bumpers. I'm so surprised. So there's the uh, the lights still open up. I guess those are open and closed lights as opposed to built in. I don't know what these do. Like uh, they're just basically removes the lights. Does this turn it into a, a racing F40, I guess? I don't know. I kind of like that one. That one looks good. It, it changes the uh, the front bumper, the little diffuser on the front. Let's see. Dang, there's 20 of these things. That's so hard to believe for a Ferrari, especially a classic one like the F40. So now we're putting uh, little trims on the side, more aerodynamics. I don't really care for that so much. I like to keep it nice and clean looking. All right, so that was this is what the original looks like again. We're gonna base it off of that. I think we're gonna go with something like this. It just adds a front lip. I might do the intakes on the hood. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, we're gonna roll with this one. We're gonna buy buy this thing. Make it make it look more like a race car just a little bit. Or see what the rims are. So these are getting into more fantasy rims. We're gonna keep the stock. It's the stock Ferrari F40 rims. Nice and meaty looking. I don't know actually. We If we can paint something else different, like this, more like a race car rim, we can throw it black. Oh man. That is disgusting. Alright. Rim size, absolutely. Ah, uh, we don't want to go full blast. That's a little much. We'll go one under full. The next one, the rear size, one under full as well. Can we change the caliper color? Yes, sir, we can. We're going to make it yellow to uh, to match the logo. I wish there was a more yellow yellow. Does that make sense? I guess that orange kind of matches the logo. So we'll match the Ferrari logo right there with the caliper. Rear bumper, only four to choose from. Add a diffuser on the bottom there. Add a metal one instead of carbon to fiber. Carbon to fiber. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about. I think we're going to go with this one, though. I don't know why. I just kind of like that one. And the interior color, 
We can't have red. Can we change it to black? Yellow would be kind of cool, actually. I really want it to be black. Ugh. Let's check out this gray. Black steering wheel. Make it more matte finish. Can't change the inserts. Wow, you can really tell the F40's age <laughs> when you look at the interior. That's absolutely crazy. Man, this car looks like a speed machine. It kind of looks like the Batmobile. But we're going to throw all 280 parts on it. And then we're going to go grind this thing out. And I'm giving you guys the full review in just a moment. No, guys, I almost forgot about the livery. So I'm quickly going through the top 100. Uh, so far, I haven't really seen anything that I'm too fond of. I really like the Batmobile look that I have going for it. That Marlboro race car one looks pretty cool, too. Uh, matte black stripe down the middle of our glossy uh, paint job. I don't know. I don't really think it needs uh, any paint job. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this all blacked out car. Alright, just to add a little bit, a little touch to it, I'm gonna throw this uh, matte black racing stripe down the middle. Just to add just a little bit of character to it, but that's all I'm gonna do. And now we are finally gonna go race. Alright, here we are. We are at the Strip South. We have this set to hard difficulty and we are going to see how this Ferrari F40 performs right off the bat. Look at all that wheel spin, dude. This thing has so much acceleration. Oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. Hopefully it handles well. Wow, I you can't really NOS off the start. This thing has no grip. There's so much torque in the rear wheels. This thing is crazy kind of understeers a little bit but it's not too bad oh yeah dude, this thing understeers a lot it would definitely be worth tuning but to keep all of these car reviews the exact same we're not going to tune this thing if you know a good uh, Ferrari F40 tuning be sure to drop it in the description be sure to drop it in the comments below I'll be sure to check it out this is also my first race so I will be doing a side-by-side, -side, as I always do, with my fastest lap of the F40 and the fastest lap of the KTM, our current reigning champion, at a minute and 46 seconds. Right off the bat though, not too impressed. I can tell that this F40 has a lot of speed to it in a straight line. The handling is just kind of iffy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we do after I do a couple of races. I always test. I put about an hour into testing each car, so it's pretty equal. But I'm starting to figure out the controls a little bit. It's getting better. It's getting better. Let's see what the top speed is here on this straight. 182. So that's not really going to cut it if it wants to beat the current champions. But they handled that section pretty well. So like I said, first race. This is my very first impressions of the car. We already lost to the reigning champion of the KTM by six seconds there. So six seconds off the pace with my first race. But we'll figure it out. I'll try to figure out that start. There was so much wheel spin on that start that it was, it was hard to, to get a grip and to really accelerate. But I'll try to figure out a way to get that wheel spin to work out for me. And then I will show you guys my fastest lap once I post it. Alright, so off the start, as you can tell, Let's still a lot of wheel spin. Under that hood. We're rudely interrupted. So you need to feather the boost just a little bit to get your, your wheels rolling. Otherwise, you're going to be wheel spinning for days. Because this thing is incredible. It has so much wheel spin. Well, of course it has wheel spin off the start. But... <laughs> I'm going to say it has so much torque, so much power. This thing is a race car for the streets. Like, this thing is incredibly quick. It grips every single corner. It's, I, I can't say enough about it. Honestly, I'm speechless. The Ferrari F40 is the best car in the game for street racing. It, it could rival, honestly, it could rival hypercars even. Like, this thing is that good. It's, well, it is a hypercar in real life, so I mean that may have a little bit to do with it, 
F40 is an absolute Ferrari legend, and honestly, it was just so much fun to drive. Like, look how fast I'm going in these sections right now. Like, <laughs> it was so hard to control because of how fast it was. Like, I was not expecting it to be able to do everything that it did. Like, I kept getting blown away by the performance of this car that I just, I was just impressed, you know? like. I went into corners faster than I ever had before. I had to completely readjust my driving style because I was not used to going this fast in these same sections of the track. And it was just, I just, honestly, I'm just speechless. Like, I'll, I just have to do a recap after the end of this race. But look at this, we set a 145.7, beat the KTM, new fastest lap time, new fastest street racing car in the game. The Ferrari F40 is the best that money can buy at this current state of the game. And oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and see what that is on the leaderboard. Just real quick, a 145.6. You can see the F40 is the new fastest car in the game. And if we switch to all, that's enough for a top 1,600 in the entire world. This car is disgustingly fast. And as you can see up here, there's also an F40 right below me. So the F40 is also, it's been proven by other people as well. Lamborghini Huracan, I might have to try that next. Go ahead and comment down below if you want to see the Lamborghini next in the next video. But the Ferrari F40, absolute beauty of a car. All right, Ferrari F40, final impressions. Rating this car on a one to 10 scale looks it's a little dated kind of looks like a Batmobile though so it's also kind of sick looks uh, looks are what's weighing this down okay performance 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 but this car like I said it's a little old you kind of have to be into the classics I do respect the classic Ferraris but I'm still only gonna give this thing a 9.2 out of 10 a 9.2 out of 10 not quite a 10 out of 10 like I said 10 out of 10 performance incredible new fastest car in the game absolutely destroyed the KTM and this Ferrari F40 is the new fastest car in the game absolutely love driving it it's a freak of nature okay it's a race car that's street legal and it's just incredible so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please smash the like button leave a comment down below what car you want me to purchase next and do a review on I'm only doing street racing cars right now, but I will be doing all other forms of cars in the future. The Crew 2 is getting an update on Tuesday. I'm going to be covering all of that as well. So be sure to subscribe, stay tuned for more, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Oh, I